Hello Bulldog Nation, my name is Shelley Hollis, Curriculum and Instructional Specialist with Sheffield City Schools. I would like to update you on some important information related to Sheffield Virtual School. Beginning Tuesday, September 8th, any student enrolled in Sheffield Virtual School will not be allowed to transfer back to the traditional face-to-face -face classroom until the end of the semester. On Monday, August 24th, the Sheffield School Board met and passed a virtual school attendance policy. This policy stated that in order to be considered present for Sheffield Virtual School, the student must participate by logging into the learning management system and completing assigned tasks in accordance with due dates to make adequate progress toward course completion. Failure to participate and complete assignments for the course will result in the following consequences. After three days of student inactivity, the teacher will notify the parent to communicate the concern and expectation that the student participates in the course to make academic progress in alignment with the course. If direct contact is not made, a return email or phone call from the parent is required within 24 hours. After four days of student inactivity, if there is not a response from the parent and or the student does not actively participate in the course, the parent will be notified. After five days of student inactivity, if there is not a response from the parent and or the student does not actively participate in the course, a welfare check referral will be sent to the Student Services Department to determine the well-being of the student by our district social worker. If the well-being of the student and family is found to be intact, a notice to attend early warning court will be issued due to the five days of inactivity. Students who fall behind in Sheffield Virtual School and or do not maintain adequate attendance and participation may be removed from Sheffield Virtual School and re required to attend traditional school for the remainder of the year. Students that are removed from Sheffield Virtual School and required to attend traditional school may be placed in an alternative setting for a minimum of five days. The placement is to allow them to transition back into the traditional school setting and complete missing assignments. Truancy charges may be filed against any parent or student who fails to comply with this attendance policy at the principal's discretion. It is our hope that we can provide the best educational opportunities for our students regardless of the instructional format that the student has chosen. However, if a student chooses the virtual platform, it is very important that there is daily participation in all courses. Communication is the key for the success of our virtual program. If you have concerns, suggestions or questions, please contact the building principal. Working together, we will achieve our goals. Take care and stay safe.